All right, anyway, people will intentionally not look at you because um, I think frequently when people see someone carrying a handgun on their hip like this, they think police officer. And because you're not in uniform, they assume, oh, that guy's an off-duty police officer, which frequently is probably the case um, for people who are carrying openly because it just doesn't happen very much. But like I said, I find that people notice me and then look away. However, you never know what's going to happen. Also, there's um, frequently people don't know they're just like law enforcement sometimes don't know the uh, local laws and regulations regarding handguns um, or the state laws and whatnot about your carry of firearms. Frequently, companies employees do not know the company's policy about carrying firearms. Um, I happen to know that the policy of Walmart, um, I, Target. I believe Bass Pro are all that, you know, they follow the laws of whatever state their store is located in. Um, so here where, you know, where I'm located, it's legal if you have a permit to carry your handgun openly or concealed. Either way, you can carry a handgun on your permit, per, per, on your person because our, uh, our license is a license to carry handgun. It's not a concealed carry license, it's a license to carry. So you can't carry open unless you have one, but if you have one you can carry that pistol any, well you, any, any way you darn well please. Um, open or concealed. But uh, frequently I find that employees of these stores don't necessarily know the uh, their company's policies. Um, I know Bass Pro Shop their policy is that they allow the carry of concealed weapons um, in states that allow the carry of concealed weapons. So if you're, you know, your Bass Pro Shop is located in a state that allows for concealed carry, you can concealed carry there. However, I had a funny experience at Bass Pro one time. Um, I was concealed, I was carrying my handgun concealed and um, also carrying, you know, a knife on my strong side and on my weak side and uh, I had my police baton in my bag just like I always do with my EDC. If you've seen my EDC video you see all that stuff I carry and I had that pro mask bag on me and you know you go through the little turnstile and the lady stops me at the turnstile and goes um what do you have in that bag and I'm like well <laughs> what do you mean and I was like I got all kinds of stuff in here and she's like y you don't have any any guns or knives in there do you and I'm thinking do you ask this to everyone? I was like, why are you singling me out? I mean, you know, I've been in Bass Pro Shops, you know, probably a hundred times down there, and I've never had anyone ask me, what's in your bag? And I've carried it every time I've gone there. But this little old lady, what's in your bag? Do you have any knives or guns in there? I'm like, well, <laughs> I'm like, no, I, I don't have any guns in my bag. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm carrying a gun on my hip, but <laughs> that's none of your beeswax. So she keeps asking me about it, and I'm like, there's all kinds of stuff in here, do you want to look? And she's like, I just need to know if you have any knives. And I'm like, well, I have these clipped to my pockets. And she's like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, I, I pulled out my uh, pulled out my G10 Caracara, and I'm like, well, I have this. And she's like, oh, I, I just need to know about your bag. And I'm thinking, how in the world does that make sense? You know, I don't need to know about the four-inch blade you have in your pocket, but if you have a knife in your bag, that's not acceptable. Um, so I was really confused by it, but I just, you know, she didn't ask if I was concealed carrying a firearm. She just asked if I had one in my bag, and I said, uh, no, I don't have a gun in my bag. And uh, the issue of whether I had a firearm strapped to my hip never came up. I was carrying in this uh, holster at the time, and I had my extra 17 round mag. But, you know, she didn't ask. If she had, I'd have told her, probably. But uh, she didn't ask about that, so I said, nope, got no guns in my bag. And uh, she was like, alright, I went through. And then I'm thinking, so do you ask this to all the women who come in with purses? And I'm sure that, you know, of course, this little old lady doesn't ask every woman who comes through with a purse, do you have any guns or knives in your bag? Um, and it just didn't make sense, because I've never had a Bass Pro employee ask me that. But that's just, you know, one example of an employee who's probably confused on policy of the company. Because I doubt the policy of their company is to interrogate anyone who comes through with, a, you know, a small satchel. Um... 
because you just don't do that. I mean, who in retail interrogates people that come in with satchels? I mean, it's one thing when you go to a stadium full of, you know, thousands of people, but a Bass Pro Shop? I mean, and it's a store that sells guns and knives, so just didn't seem logical to me. Um, but, you know, I have a guess that had I told that woman, yes, I'm carrying a concealed handgun, she probably would have told me I couldn't carry it in the store and tried to make me check it with the people. In which case, I would have informed her that her store's policy is that I'd be allowed to carry my handgun because the state's laws tell me that I can and that I would continue to carry it. Um, but, you know, more than likely she doesn't realize that. And, uh, you know, that's generally not an issue because if your handgun's concealed, nobody's going to know. However, um, say I walked in there with this strap to my hip, I'm pretty sure she'd probably have taken offense at that and probably told me I couldn't carry it. But uh, since their policy is that they follow the laws of the, of the, you know, the state the store is located in, it's probably, I, I don't know about open carry, but I would think that that's probably included in that policy. Um, maybe not. Maybe they don't, they just don't allow open carry. I don't know. But I just thought it was kind of an interesting experience. And, uh, you know, it just goes to show that sometimes people are distrustful of things that they ought not be distrustful of. You know, I don't tend to think I look like a poor citizen or anything, or that my bag looks like it contains a bomb, maybe a gas mask, but <laughs> I don't think, any, you know, it just didn't make sense. So, you will probably face that kind of thing should you choose to open carry your firearm. Um, you know, maybe walk into a store and the employees tell you, uh, you can't have that in here, you need to leave. You know, or you need to take that gun somewhere else, or you need to check that firearm with our services counter, or whatever. And, um, then what happens? You know, at that point, you may have to disarm or leave the store. And I'd probably choose to leave the store before I disarmed, but, you know, maybe you really don't have an option and you have to get what you need, you have to give up your armament. Whereas if you were concealing the firearm, no one would know, it would be a non-issue. So, there are more advantages that way. Alright, so I've been talking forever. Uh, I'm getting kind of rambly, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, that's basically my discussion of concealed carry versus open carry. I'll probably do some more open carry uh, in the future and probably let people know how that goes. Uh, I'll maybe post an update vid on my open carry experience. So, anyway, JC the Sniper, signing out.